Sophie just mentioned election hedging. How much of this are we seeing already happen, especially with dollar strength right now, and how long will this continue for? Yeah, I think we're going to see more of this as the election gets closer. So I'm expecting the two investors to take risk, as you put it, uh, off the board, uh, reduce exposures into, into the election. Uh, when you look at the early voting uh, patterns in the U.S., a lot of the swing states have actually got reasonably low early voting turnout. So this election is very much live, despite the fact that 65 million Americans have uh, already, already voted. So uh, I'm expecting the dollar to strengthen uh, into... Um, in, into the election, the yen should outperform as well, uh, and I'm also looking for gold to, to to move higher as well into into Tuesday. We've already seen significant strength on the Chinese yuan, and of course that's come with more strength in the Chinese economy as well. This, as we have, of course, the plenary session going on right now, uh, the fifth by the Chinese Communist Party Central Committee. We're going to get some long-term goals here for about 15 years, economic targets. How much of your investment decisions will focus on what China and, and policymakers uh, plan to do there? I think it's going to play a very important part, and if anything uh, that 2020 has demonstrated to the world, it is the importance of China and the uh, the increasing importance it will have. China is the lone star in the world as far as economic performance goes uh, this year, and, and that's very clear for all to see. I, I think it'll be very interesting to see what they come out with, uh, particularly if uh, one of those policies is a, a shift to uh, renewable energy and a reduction uh, in, in fossil fuels uh, and, 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 and fuels such as coal, et cetera, et cetera. I think that one will be uh, uh, the start of an important um, or, or re-energise this uh, move away from oil megatrends that we're starting to see gather momentum around the world. Uh, Jeff, I'm wondering how Haven Trades look to you at the moment as we head into the US election next week and uh, potentially uh, some uncertainty to come once that's over. Yeah, you know, the, the, the world uh, with financial markets seem to have um, priced in or been positioned for this blue wave uh, of clean sweep by the Democrats next week. A lot of things have to go exactly right uh, for that to happen. And I think the real race here is the Senate race, uh, and nine of those states are at least too close to call, uh, e even uh, as of, of today. Uh, then if we get into close votes... Uh, disputed elections where votes um, head to the Supreme Court, et cetera, et cetera. This could drag on well into November. Uh, so I don't think the market's pricing in those uncertainties yet. So I'm expecting safe havens to outperform. I'm expecting the US dollar to strengthen into uh, the end of the week and into the election and, you know, your typical safe havens such as um, gold and, uh, and Japanese yen should outperform, possibly even Bitcoin.